Hi everyone, Miss Emma here from Little London Ballet. So today we're going to do some primary level ballet. And first of all, we're going to make sure all of our muscles are ready to dance. We're going to do a big stretch. Okay, so starting on the floor. Okay, beautiful stretching there. Now let's make sure we put our first position, so heels together, we're turning out, our tummies are facing forwards, our hips are nice and square. Boys, hands on hips, and girls, hold your skirt. We're going to plie and stretch, and plie and stretch, and plie. Hold, hold, and stretch. Now tondu. Forwards and close, a la second. Close, dare we air. And two second, 
So we go plie and stretch and plie and stretch and plie and hold and hold and stretch. Devon. A la second. Seri a. Back to second. Lovely. Let's try that with the music. <laughs> So we've got to find our demi plie and we spring up to point, up to point, up to point, up to point. Lovely. So it's really important that you check your heel is facing up to the sky. We can't twist it round the wrong way like this and show our bottoms. That's what we mustn't do. We've got to make sure that heel is pointing to the sky. All these muscles behind our knees are stretched and all of these muscles on top of our feet are really making sure that our feet cannot possibly point any further. So, we're starting first. We plie, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight. We're going to spring point to the side. One, two, to the back. Three, four, to the side. Five, six, to the front. Seven, eight. Let's try that with the music. Ready? I can see through your windows here. It's almost like you're holding a big balloon or a beach ball. Now be careful not to pop your balloon or your beach ball. Let's carefully lift it up to first position. 
Now, first position, you've got to make sure your hands are opposite your belly button. Make sure it's not too high. That's not first position. First position is quite low. So go back to bra bar, making sure I can see through your two windows here and making sure that your tips of your fingers are not touching. There's a little bit apart like this. Okay, now lifting your arms to first position. Out to second position. Turn your hands and lower. Back to bra bar. First position all the way up to fifth position. Now in fifth position, make sure the palms of your hands are facing you. Out to second position and lower. Bra bra. First, second, lower. First, to fifth, out to second, and lower. Lovely. Let's try that with the music. jetés now. Now, jeté is a jump from one leg to the other and petit in French means small. Now for our petit jetés there's lots of things that we've got to remember. We've got to remember to turn out our legs. Now our legs in first position are turned out aren't they? And that's quite easy to remember because you can think about your toes turning out to the sides. If your toes were turning in they would look something like that. And I haven't seen any ballet dancers stand like that before. So make sure you've got your beautiful turned out first position. Okay, now for our petit jetés, it's important that our knees create this diamond shape. But we are standing on one leg, so it's a little bit more difficult. Let's just have a go. So stand on your left leg for me and your right leg is going to hide behind your left leg with your knee facing the side. This knee is also bent over our toe. Now, this part of our foot here is a little bit bony. It's called our ankle. And um, if you show me your elbow, just feel your elbow. It's a little bit sharp, isn't it? Your ankle should feel a little bit sharp too. So without looking, I want you to see if your ankle can touch the back of our leg. I'm going to show you sideways as well. Can you see how my toe is not touching my leg? It's sort of a little bit sticking out. That's because my toe is in line with my leg. If I was to touch my toe on my leg, I would be sickling my foot. I wouldn't be stretching it properly. So that's what I'm looking for when you're doing your petit jetés. Let's have a little go. Girls hold your skirt, boys hands on hips. So we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Now move back a little bit. We're going to hold our skirts or hands on hips, boys. And we go, step panda, first panda, step panda, hop. Step panda, first panda, step panda, hop. Step panda, first, step panda, hop. And a one, two, three, four. Step, first, step, hop. Step, first, step, hop. Step, first, step, hop. One, two, three. Let's 
try that with the music. Good job. Now to our sauté. So now sauté means to jump. Now remember, we're in the first position because we're doing ballet. And girls holding your skirts, boys hands on hips as usual. Okay, so to prepare, we've got to make sure those knees are going over our toes. And we've got a little diamond shape, just like this, lovely. So we're going to jump up and land in first position. Let's try that again. Upland, 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 upland. And did you notice when I jumped, my knees were stretched and so were my feet so that I could really get as high as I possibly can. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Now we're going to échappé out to second. Now échappé is another French word that we use in ballet and it means to escape. So, our feet are escaping from their first position into second position, just like that. Lovely. Let's try again. Five, six, seven, jump in first. Two, three, four, échappé. Stretch, bend. One, two, three, four, in first. Stretch, plié. One, two, three, four, second. Stretch, and one, two, three, four, first, stretch. Maybe that little girl or little boy hasn't tidied their room properly and that's why they can't find it. I don't know. So we are going to start in the corner here and we're going to have our first position. Girls are going to hold your skirts and boys are going to put their hands on their waists. So we're going to wait and run. Run and point. Spring point, spring point, spring point. So we have three spring points. Let's try that again. So we're in our corner and we're going to run, run and point. Spring point, spring point, spring point. Good, well done. Back to first position. Because we're going to look, see if we can find our teddy over here. We're going to look, see if we can find our teddy over here. But we can't. So find your first position and shrug. Let's try that from the beginning. So we're in our first position and we go. Run and point and spring, two, three. Look and look, first position, shrug. Now we're going to step to the right side. Step, first, step, first point and run and stop. Lovely. Let's try that with the music from the beginning. C. So we've just 
and a little run forward like this. Now we're going to do a little turn in our own circle towards our right shoulder. So I need to see your tippy toes all the way round and all of a sudden I want you to spot your teddy. So I need to see your facial expression. You need to look really excited. So open those eyes. <sighs> Lovely, well done. Let's do that from the beginning. So we're in our corner. We've got our first position. We go, run and point. And spring and spring and spring. We look, look, first position, shrug. Step, first, step, first point, run forwards and stop. We turn and find our teddy. Now we're going to be so excited, we're going to jump in first position. Jump, 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 jump. And clap our hands at the same time. Let's see if we can try that with the music. Let's see. So we could stir our magic cauldron, we could watch it bubble and cast some magic spells. We might fly around the room or our forest. We might creep into the witch's house. I want to see how imaginative your dancing can be. And I'm going to play some special music. So let's think what our fairy or our goblin might be called. Let's think if they've got any special powers as well. Maybe they can make themselves invisible. And find your space in the room.
So in my dance there, I was a magical goblin who grew some very special wings. I made a magic potion, but then all of a sudden there was somebody naughty who came into my cottage from outside and tried to steal the potion away from me, so I had to hide it. And then I got my magical goblet, scooped up some of the potion, drank it, and it turned me into a cat. Okay, so before we're finished today, we need to say thank you for our dance lesson. We need to curtsy and bow.